Hey guys, so I believe this is the last um, makeup look in my lookbook for this week. Um, so I just wanted to tell you really quickly about my makeup today. I am really pissed though because I have to go right back to work in like literally 15 minutes. So I'm going to get ready in like 3 minutes. But I had to be at a fucking staff meeting this morning at 7.45 in the morning and it didn't end until 10.30. So I literally came home. Did my eye makeup and now I have to change and go right back to work. I'm literally sitting for like two minutes and then I have to get changed. So it really, really sucks, but whatever. I need the money. Maybe I should have taken off, but uh, I already had off yesterday and I, I can't afford to be off again. I need money. So yeah, so anyway, I primed my face with the Smashbox More Than Primer Um salicylic acid acid acne control primer then um i of course went in with the Giorgio armani luminous silk foundation in five and then of course i mixed that with the cover fx custom cover drops in n10 then um i haven't been contouring recently actually i just realized that i forgot to contour but i've just been bronzing up my skin trying to give my skin some color Hopefully I've been doing it right. I guess I've been giving myself like a slight contour, but whatever. I don't really care. Um, then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Then, of course, I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then for my eyes, I just wore concealer because um, I just used concealer in the morning because I didn't throw on eyeshadow because I didn't have time so I just put on concealer and then set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and also set my under eye, put on the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose and set that with the Laura Mercier underneath my eyes. Then today I used the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette because I need to start using more of my shadows. Also I don't want to use my Makeup Geek shadows every day but I have used it the majority of this week but I am getting my fold eyeshadow order and I know when I get it I'm going to be mostly using Makeup Geek shadows with it. So I'm so excited. I'm getting it on Monday so that's probably all you're going to see is foiled eyeshadow looks from me. Um, so probably Monday through Friday. Um, you'll see like two different uh, this look and actually this is a new series oh my god I just realized that this is actually a new day I'm pretty sure I'll tape an outro later if this is the last day but I'm pretty sure that yesterday was the last day so sorry so today um, I went in with Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek on the brow bone then I went in with Nudie from the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette on the crease and then of course I darkened up with the crease with Cashmere Bunny then I went in with um, Heaven and Beaches and Cream on the lid. Uh, Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek and Heaven from the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Then I went in with Sexpresso from the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette on the outer corners. And then I went in with Heaven on the brow bone from the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Then in the inner corners I did Makeup Geek's Shimma Shimma. Then um, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D liner in Mad Max Brown. Then um, I used the Stila... Um, eye primer today. I forget what the real name is, but it's just an eye primer. So I used that first and then I used the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara. I don't notice too much of a difference with my lashes. I feel like my lashes have just been really eh lately, but I did like it. So, and I feel like it did add some volume. So I don't know. It might be my mascara. I think I need, I need to get a new mascara actually. I didn't realize that I've had the Giorgio Armani almost three months. By the end of like next week, I'm going to have to get a new mascara. So anyway, um, so yeah, I did that on the top, and then the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then um, I bronzed today with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I've been using that recently rather than contouring because um, sometimes when I just go for natural looks, I don't like contouring that much. Then I highlighted today with the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder in Starlight. I feel like it looks. I feel like everything looks really subtle on me today. I don't feel. I don't look very glowy today. I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't get that much sleep. So my skin is just like, eh, whatever. Just going to throw this on and whatever. So it just looks like pretty natural. So whatever. Um, but I wanted to look more dewy, but sometimes I don't. Um, then I went in with the Urban Decay After Glow 8-Hour Blush in Kinky, the one that I hauled yesterday that you'll see a lot earlier than this. Um, and then, of course, I went over everything, over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and set them with the Anastasia Brow Gel. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Line On Slide On Lip Pencil. And then I put over the Urban Decay Revolutionary 
lip gloss in Kinky. So I matched the blush and the lip gloss. So let me know if you guys like this. Hopefully it doesn't look too cool toned to match the lip, but I think it looks really good. And I feel like this color looks exactly the same as Liar, just maybe be like a tad bit lighter, but I feel like they look so similar. But yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So today I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Foundation Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. I didn't use my Beauty Blender because I have to wash my Beauty Blender. I forgot to wash it last night. So I just used my It Cosmetics Foundation Brush to apply it. It doesn't look as sheer, but I do like it because it gives more coverage. Um, then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primant Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I went in with, of course, my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base to prime my eyes. I was wearing my No Makeup Makeup Look earlier, and I was wearing the color Kinky on my on my lips. I really love those um, Urban Decay Revolutionary Lip Glosses, but obviously I changed the color because I wanted to wear something that I actually just picked up like an hour ago. Um, so today, of course, I wanted to use some of my Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. Um, so I used the color... Um, in the spotlight on the lid, I just feel like it's kind of transferring and like is not as pigmented as I wanted it to be. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of my lids. I feel like my lids are just like too small for eyeshadow. I don't know why. So I'm pretty sure I used in the spotlight on my lid. Then, um, I went in with, of course, Beaches and Cream on the crease. Then I went in with, um, creme brulee on the crease to darken it up and be the actual crease color. Then I defined the crease with the color latte and then I went in with frappe and a frappe latte and a little bit of mocha on the outer corners just to darken it up more because I didn't want it to be too brown to be like too much of mocha. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. And then, of course, I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. And then I went in with Starry Eyed, one of the other Makeup Geek foiled shadows on the inner corners. I just feel like they look so similar, like in the spotlight. And Starry Eyed look like so similar to me, but whatever. I think it looks really pretty. So then um, I lined my eyes with the Stila Sail Day Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I was going to use Mad Max Brown, but then I ended up picking up Stila's uh, eyeliner and I just didn't feel like finding Mad Max Brown so I just decided to use Stila's but I still love it. Um, then of course um, I primed my um, eyelashes with the Stila primer that I just got and I really really like it. Then of course I went in with the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara. I do need a new mascara though I feel like, I feel like this is getting too dried out. Then, of course, I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then, of course, um, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm in my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose under my eyes. Then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then, I know that you're going to think this is kind of weird, but I haven't been really into contouring lately. I haven't contoured in, like, three days because I've been having to wear my no makeup makeup look, but also, like... Um, I went to the beach on Friday and then yesterday I just, I had to wear my no makeup makeup look in the morning because I had a staff meeting at like 7.45 a.m. So I didn't want to, you know, do contouring or anything like that. And then today I did the same thing and wore my no makeup makeup look to Kohl's because I went to go get some The Balm Cosmetics, which you're going to see a haul for that pr pretty shortly. But I shot it today, but you're not going to see this till like next week. Um, so, yeah, so I went to, so I haven't been contouring, I lost my train of thought, but I, I've been bronzing my skin, but today I didn't even bronze my skin. I just didn't feel like contouring, I just haven't really been into it lately, and since I already had a blush on, I just really wanted to use the balm products that I got, that I would just, I got too excited, and I just did my blush and highlighter before I even decided to contour, so I was like, eh, fuck it, I don't really care. Um, so I didn't, I didn't contour, so yeah. Um, so I highlighted with the Cindy, was it the Cindy Luminizer? The Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's so pretty. Then, um, I was wearing Kinky by Urban Decay as a blush earlier, but then I topped it with the, um, The Balm Hot Mama blush because I really wanted to use the products that I just got. 
I love it. I love the blush. I think it's definitely the prettiest thing that I got. I just think it's so gorgeous. And then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brown, the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, Gel to set them. Then, of course, I set my makeup with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then, um, for lips today, I did line my lips with the Urban Decay. Well, I primed them with the Urban Decay um, Ozone uh, Lip Primer, and then I lined them with the NYX Lip Primer and Natural. And then I used the Balm Cosmetics Meet Matte Hughes Lip Liquid Lipstick in Committed, and I really, really love it. So, yeah, I just, like, can't get enough of trying new liquid lipsticks. But, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, every other girl out there. So, yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, I just wanted to say before I actually tell you, I think I did my makeup really, really good today. So um, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Then um, I went in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Vanilla and the Co Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And I think it applied so well today like I'm really surprised like it didn't dry out on my nose it just looks flawless today maybe because I waited a long time to actually do my makeup today because I didn't do my makeup until like 4 30 so um or like four o'clock because I left it off for most of the day just so I could give my face a breather and it looks so good so I really really like it um usually like I'm pretty iffy about this foundation because usually, like, my skin has to be, like, in perfect shape in order to wear it. But my skin looked pretty good. It didn't look, like, amazing, like, skin. But it wasn't dry on my nose, so I figured I would use it. And I really like how it turned out. So, yeah, I got to use that today. Um, then, of course, I, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Pep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then, of course, I set everything with the... Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then, of course, I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And then, of course, today, I used uh, Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows and other Makeup Geek Shadows. I know, but I told you that I want to use all of my foiled shadows at least once this week. So, I went in with Grandstand on the lid. I really, really love this color. But it doesn't come off as, like, brown as it is in the pan. It comes off almost as, like, a copper. And... I don't know, just like I feel like the colors come off a lot different on the lid than they actually look in the pan. I still like them. I'm not like completely in love with them, to be honest, I know. Um, but I really like them. I just feel like the pigmentation kind of fades a little bit after you put on the rest of your makeup. I feel like you have to wear them just like without liner or something, but I'm still trying to test them out to see how I like them. Maybe I need Max Fix Plus or something. But anyway, then on the crease, I went in with Beaches and Cream like I always do. And then over that, I went over with the Foiled Shadow in um, Magic Act because I wanted to add a little bit of gold to it and also like didn't want it to be so matte. Um, then I went in with uh, Latte and Mocha on the outer corners. And then I went in with Frac Pay to just darken up the crease a little bit. And then, of course, I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. And then I went in with Starry Eyed, the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in uh, Starry Eyed, like I just said. Um, so I used three of them today. I really love using Starry Eyed on the inner corners. It is really, really pretty. Then, of course, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D liner in Mad Max Brown. Then, of course, I primed my eyes with the Stila Primer. And then uh, went in with the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara. I feel like I really do need a new mascara, honestly, because like I feel like it's getting pretty dried out. Um, then I went in with, of course, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose under my eyes. And then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I finally decided to contour today, and I was like, oh, I actually missed contouring. So I contoured my face with the Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter, like I usually do, with the dark shade, and then baked the contour with the lighter shade. Then I highlighted today with the Cindy Mary Luminizer in uh, By the Bomb. I really need to remember what his actual name is for this because I keep on calling it like Cindy Luminizer. But it's the Mary Luminizer, this one right here. Um, and then I the blush today is the Bomb's uh, Hot Mama. 
blush and then um which I also used yesterday as well and along with the highlighter but I really wanted to use it just on its own because usually like when I get a new product and I'm already wearing makeup I just like slap it on over it but I really like this I feel like it kind of faded a little bit though but it still looks really pretty they say that they're supposed to be pretty long lasting blushes so hopefully it'll last longer like I don't know maybe it's just the lighting or something but I felt like kinky lasts a lot longer from Marina K, but whatever. Then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then, of course, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then, of course, I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then, my on my lips today, of course, I primed them with the Urban Decay Glide On Slide On Pencil in Ozone. And then, I'm wearing the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Noble. I'm not sure if I'm too sold on these on the formula for these. I do really like how it looks right now. I just don't like how it made a line here. And I literally had to reapply this like five times. It's not that it was like too bad after I ate, but I still had to reapply it because it kind of wore off here. But also like it doesn't lay evenly when I'm first putting it on. I find that it's like the only liquid lipstick that I have that it has to dry first before it looks really good. And then it looks good once it dries. But like it goes on streaky but then it dries and it like kind of fills in as it dries. So I don't know. I don't want to like fill it in and then wait like five minutes for it to dry just so it'll look good. Because I had to put on like three layers before I went to work and then I put on like another two at work. So but whatever. So that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, so mostly I've been using um, ColourPop, Makeup Geek, and um, the Balm Cosmetics. So that's basically what my looks have been consisting of. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Then I went in with the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation in the color Ivory. And mixed that in with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban K Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Just looking at my lipstick. I actually think it looks fine. Then, um, I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then, of course, I went in and primed my eyes with the Sm NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And then, of course, set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then, of course, I used um, all Makeup Geek shadows again. This is probably the last all um, Makeup Geek shadow look that I'm going to do for the, like, the rest of the week because I do get bored using just one brand of eyeshadows. I really like feel like I'm already neglecting my other palettes. Um, I was actually going to originally do a ColourPop look today, but I really wanted to use Whimsical on the lid, so I used Whimsical on the lid. Then I used... Um, Beaches and Cream, of course, in the crease, and then went over that with Cupcake. Um, and then I went over um, Whimsical with Cinderella to make it a little bit more pink. So I'm hoping it looks more pink. That's why I wore a pink lip today. And then um, just darkened up the uh, crease a little bit with Latte, I mean Frappe. And then I just mixed together Latte and Frappe on the outer corners. And then, of course, I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. And then, of course, I went in with Starry Eyed. Uh, foiled shadow on the inner corners and then um, of course I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Mad Max Brown which I've been loving lately then of course I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose then I set that with the La Mercier Secret Brightening Powder like I always do and then um, I primed my eyes with the Stila Lash Stunner uh, eyelash primer and then of course I went in with the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara. I do really need a new mascara like not even joking and then um, on the bottom I went in with MAC Extended Play Kick a Black Lash like always and then of course I contoured my face with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter and then of course I went in with the lighter shade to bake the contour and then um, I went in with the Mary Luminizer from the Balm for my highlighter and then um, went in with the Bombs Cabana Boy as a blush. Then, of course, I set it, uh, went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brown Pe Brow Pencil in Brown Natural and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set them. And then, of course, I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then for my lips today, I'm wearing ColourPop's 
Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Shimmy. And then I also lined my lips a little bit with the NYX Lip Liner in Rose. And then I also primed them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on sign on pencil in ozone and that's it. I actually thought this was gonna be a little bit more nude pink, but this is a little bit more pink than I wanted it to be. But I'm still gonna wear it because like I just really want to wear a pink lipstick today. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey guys, so I wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. It is my birthday today, so um this is what I was going to do for my birthday makeup. Um it's not anything too involved, it's basically like the standard makeup that I do when I wear something that's black. But I did just put a different twist on it because I used um different eyeshadows this time. I didn't use all Urban Decay shadows, so I'm just going to tell you what I used so um of course I put sunblock on first because we are going somewhere that we're going to be spending a lot of time outside I'm pretty sure they have like shady places that we can drink wine because we're going out to the vineyards and I'm super excited so um I put on SPF 30 of the Clinique Rescue Balm then um or something like that I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and I really like this sunscreen because it doesn't smell sunscreeny it smells just normal it doesn't give you that overwhelming smell of sunscreen probably just because it's SPF 30 not SPF 50 but whatever the reason why I put on sunscreen is because I was thinking about wearing my NARS tinted moisturizer because that has SPF in it but um, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then of course I I really wanted to wear my favorite foundation today. I mean, why wouldn't I on my birthday? So I really wanted to wear my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So that's what I wore. So um, I wanted to wear that rather than the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. So that's why I had to put on SPF first. Then of course I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my Mac Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then, of course, I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then, of course, I primed my eyes with the um, NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And then set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. <clears throat> and then I just did a couple of spritzes of the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I'm actually bringing that with me today, just in case if I start sweating or anything. I don't know why it looks like it's so crappy outside. Um, I'm just going to check, like, what the weather is supposed to be. It's not supposed to, it says it's not supposed to rain here. I mean, who knows what it's going to be in, um, in the North Fork, but I think it'll be fine. But it's just, like, partly cloudy today. So, um, so then I went in with, uh, the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. I probably should go grab it because I don't remember what the color names are. So I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. I've totally spaced about that. Um, so... I went in with the Shade and Light palette and I used most of the Cool Tone Quad right here. Um, so I used the color, this color right here as my transition shade and I used the color Succubus. Um, then I used the color, this color right here on my brow, on my crease. Why did I say brow bone? This one right here and that one is called Lazarus. And then I used, um, this just, I didn't even really use this in the crease because I kind of layered this up a little bit to darken up the crease a little bit and it kind of looked like its own thing so I just left it the way it was. And then I just went in on the outer corners with these two shades and I went in with this color and that one is called Liberatus and Shax. I think I went in with the black shade. I'm pretty sure I used a little bit of it. Um, but yeah, I also used a little bit of this one too. And then for the brow bone highlight, I used... This color here and this one is called Salios. Salios, yeah. And then um, for the lid, I went in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in High Wire. I really like this shade. And then I put on like a tad bit of um, Whimsical for it because Whimsical comes off as like a frosty white color when it actually goes on your lid. Like the... The um, pans are kind of deceiving for the foiled eyeshadows because you never know how it's going to reflect. I guess it just depends like what light you're in because I guess they're trying to be like kind of like ColourPop and like pick up the light. I don't know. I'm, I still love my ColourPop shadows the most. Those are like my all-time favorites for the lid. Um, but these are, are still pretty good, but they're not my favorites yet. I'm, I'm still experimenting with them. Um, but I still really like them. They're really nice. 
Um, then of course I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Mad Max in um Mad Max Brown in uh Trooper. I did use a lot of Kat Von D products today because like you know when I think of her I think of black and grungy you know. Um, but I've just been loving a lot of her products lately. And then um, for the inner corner highlight, of course, I went in with Urban Decay's uh, electric palette with the color Revolt because I cannot not use that color for any silverly, silvery look that I do. I just love that color. Um, then, of course, I primed my lids with the Stila um, Lash Stunner Primer. And then, of course, I went with my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara and my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose under my eyes. Then, of course, I set those with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then, um, for a contour, of course, I went with my Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter. I actually wasn't going to use it. Um, I wanted to use the Coco Contour Kit, and then I just ended up grabbing the Marc Jacobs one because I'm so used to just grabbing it that I just used it because I did rush a little bit to get ready but of course he's still not here yet um but I actually didn't bake the contour because I kind of forgot but also I think my contour looks really good today so I just didn't do it um then I went in with NARS's Albatross to highlight um I haven't used it in a while and I just really wanted to use it today I think it looks so pretty um then I went in with Kat Von D's Everlasting Blush in Bellissima I didn't want to use video again and I know that this blush lasts a long time just I'm looking super pale because I'm really really tired and when I'm tired it's like you still have like that tired pale look on your face but like because my skin is just like bleh so it's my skin doesn't look as luminous as luminous as I wanted it to it probably looks luminous to other people but anyway um then sorry I'm, I'm getting texts um, so then, uh, of course, I went over everything with my Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then, of course, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil. And then, um, I filled in, then I set that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then, of course, I set everything with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then, for the lips, I went in with, um, of course, Urban Decay's 24-7 Lip Primer in Ozone. And then I lined my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in, um hot red and then I went in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip and Creeper which has been like my favorite red for the summertime and I if I want something to last a long time I know this will last a while The I honestly think the red shade is like the best shade out of the bunch like this is the least drying and it lasts so long like I wore this for probably like eight hours the last time I wore it and it lasted the whole day didn't go anywhere and I might have only reapplied it like once like after I ate but it really wasn't even that bad at all so I'm hoping it'll hold up today because I'm going to be wearing it till like 9 or 10 o'clock at night so it's going to be like 10 hours so yeah that's it bye okay so hi so I just wanted to tell you super fast about my makeup look for today I'm trying to I have to pack my bag for my friend's house after uh I do this so um, I prime my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in, of course, with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the Cos Custom FX Custom Cover Drops, the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Sorry, I'm like getting together stuff as I'm saying this. Um, <clears throat> Then, of course, I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then, um, of course, I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Then, I went in with the color Peaches and Cream on my crease. Then, um, from Makeup Geek, then I went in with Bubblegum on the crease from Sugar Pop, from the Sugar Pop Palette by Too Faced. Then, I went in with, um, sorry, I'm just getting my wallet together. I need these things because I'm sleeping over her house, so I have to make sure I have everything. Um, then, of course, I went over the Sugar Pop palette color with the color um, from MAC called Swish. Then um, I darkened up the crease a little bit more by using the Urban Decay Electric palette in the color Savage. Then... Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to get everything together. Then um, for my lids, I went in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Pegasus. Um, I really wanted to use that shadow. Um, finally, because I, I wasn't able to use it before, so I finally got to use it today. Um, then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D um, eyeliner in Trooper. Then I went in and concealed and highlighted with my Urban K Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm in my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And I set that with my... Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then, of course, I prime my lids with, I mean, the, um, prime my, uh, eyelashes with the, um, oh, I thought I was uploading a video to YouTube, and it doesn't look like it even worked, or it's still going. You know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna have to put it up tomorrow night because I don't have time to put up another video right now. So anyway, um, then I primed my eyelashes with the Stila Lash Stunner Primer. Then of course I went in with my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill X Excess Mascara on the top and the MAC Extend and Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then of course I contour with my Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter and with the darker shade and baked the contour with the lighter shade. Then I highlighted today with my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Monster. I just really wanted to use it. Then with the inner corner highlight on my eyes, I went in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Whimsical. And then for blush today, I used Urban Decay's 8 Hour After Glow Blush in Obsessed because I didn't want to use Be Justify My Love again, even though I was kind of leaning towards using that one again. Then I went in with... Um, the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder over everything. Then, of course, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then, of course, I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then for my lips, I primed them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Slime and Pencil in Ozone. And then I went over that with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in First Base. I just really wanted to use it today. I just thought it was like the perfect color for this. And then I went over it with an oldie but a goodie lip gloss. I was going to use my Makeup Forever Plexi Gloss, but I couldn't find it. And the only other thing I had was a sample of it. And I didn't want to be trekking around the sample today if I wanted to touch up my lip gloss. So I decided to go over it with the Dior lip gloss in Dolly Pink that I haven't used in like a year or so. I think it's still good though because I got it like two Christmases ago. So I think it's okay. And it's so pretty. Do, do you see how pretty that is? I just love how this looks. So I love how like the super glossy lips with like a really pigmented lipstick. I love that look. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. If I look incredibly tired, that's because I am like I am exhausted. So I don't care about refreshing my makeup because I'm about to go take it off and take a shower and get into bed because... Like I said, I don't know if I said before, I was going to sleep over my friend's house yesterday. I didn't really sleep, and then we went to the city today. So we went to get manicures earlier, and I got my nails done, as you can see right here. I love it. The reason why I got red on this nail is because this color right here has, like, little uh, red flakes going through it, like little red glitters. So I wanted to play off of that and put red on my finger, on this fingernail, and then do, like, a little star. So I really like how it came out. I love the color. So I think it's really pretty. Um, and then when we went to the salon, I wore a new Doctor Who shirt because I, I might like throw like a random haul, like a clothing haul, a makeup haul all together. Because in order for me to do a haul, I have to have at least four or five products. I mean, that's what people usually do when they do a haul. But um, sorry, my lips are kind of driving me crazy. Um, I might have to fix that. Um, but anyway, so I did just throw on my no makeup makeup look when I went there. But then I just wanted to have a little bit more on. So I just threw on a couple of Makeup Geek shadows. So I'll just tell you what they were. Um, so I threw on um, Beaches and Cream on the crease. And then I put Cupcake on the crease. And then I put Cinderella and Whimsical on the lid. And then I just put on Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. And then I just put, um, I think, Whimsical and Starry Eyed in the inner corners just to mix those. And then I just threw on some mascara and some lip gloss and I was ready to go. Um, 
which is basically what I'm wearing right now, but the lip gloss I was wearing, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie because I wore it over one of my lipsticks yesterday. Like I said, I wore it over my pink um, ultra matte lipstick. So I've worn a lot of those this week, so I'm not going to be wearing those again for like another week. So, because I wear the pink one, I wear the red one, I wear the uh, the neutral one, so I have to wear some other ones. Um, so I threw on just that Dior lip gloss that I wore over that one. I threw on Dior's Dolly Pink, and I love that lip gloss. So I'm really glad I got to use it again, but it, it went perfectly with what I was wearing earlier. It was like a Doctor Who like multicolored shirt, so I thought a pink look would be pretty. So that's what I wore to the salon. And then we came back to her house, and um, obviously I changed because then we were going to go to the city. So I really wanted to use one of the other Makeup Geek foiled shadows. So now I've used basically the majority of them. Um, so I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Then of course I went in with the Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5. And then the Co Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then of course I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the NARS Translucent Setting Powder just because that one is easier to travel with because the Laura Mercier one is so big, the NARS one is a little bit thinner, so that's why I just brought that one, but I still love that one, so I just used that instead. Um, then, of course, I primed my eyes. I actually used a new primer today that I'm going to haul soon. I just got the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish primer. I exchanged it because I did haul it before, but I didn't realize that it's not sealed when you buy it, so I wanted to use it today, so that's what I used. Um, and then um, I went in with Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream, of course, on the crease. Then I mixed together Fringe and Freak from the Urban Decay Electra Palette and put that as my crease color. And then I went in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow in Fantasy on the lid because that's the one I really wanted to use today. And I think it came out great. Um, then, of course, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D liner in Mad Max Brown. Um, on the brow bone, of course, I used Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean. And then on the inner corners, I was going to use <coughs> Urban Decay's Revolt like I usually do. And I put silver on the inner corners. But then I just decided to use Makeup Geek's High Wire foiled eyeshadow so I decided to use that instead um, and then of course um, I primed my lashes with the Stila um, Lash Stunner Primer and then I also got a new mascara which I will show you soon um, since I feel like my Giorgio Armani is kind of drying out a little bit so I got the Stila Huge Lash Extreme Mascara so I used that with the primer and it, it looked really good um, then, of course, I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose, and then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then, of course, I um, did the Bottom Lash Mascara with my MAC, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, and, of course, I contoured with my Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter. Probably all this probably kind of faded by now, but my highlight is still on fleek a little bit um, with the dark shade and then baked the contour with the lighter shade. I just feel like my freckles are poking through because my foundation's kind of wearing off a little bit, but it lasted a long time, and my skin looked good today. Like, I don't know what it was, but my skin looked tired when I first woke up in the morning because I really couldn't sleep there, but when I put on the foundation, it was like instant, and it looked so good, and it was not dry around my nose at all for like hours. I was like, wow. I was like, I don't know if it was like her house that did wonders for me. I have no clue. Um, this is really bothering me. That looks better. Um, then I, um, highlighted with Max Mineralize, uh, Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I think that's what it's called, right? It's just the MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle. And then for blush today, I did the Urban Decay, um, Afterglow 8-Hour Blush in Kinky. I really love this blush because it's very neutral tone still. And I feel like it's still a little bit there. It did fade, but it's like still a tiny bit there. Um, and then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then, of course, I filled in with my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then, of course, I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I did travel with that today because I needed it um, just in case if I started sweating. And it still lasted a pretty long time, but now it's like kind of breaking up a little. And then for lips today, of course, I primed them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Slide-In Pencil in Ozone. And then I filled, lined them with the NYX 
lip liner in hot red and then I filled them them in with the NARS lip uh, crayon in Cruella because I just really wanted to use more of like a darker red today and I just wanted something that was easy to put on because I also did my friend's makeup too and I made it I made her look really pretty and that's it bye